Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Network Chat Programming. I am your host, The Cherno, and yeah, I'm not going to do that again. Um, anyway, so my name is The Cherno and welcome to episode 2 of Network Chat Programming. So that's what I've called the series and yeah, that's... And anyway, let's get back into this. So basically, um, uh, if we check out what we did last time, we basically just created a window. If we hit design here on our window builder, then you will see... Um, what our form currently looks like, and this is what it looks like, okay? So the idea of this login window is just to give people a way to, first of all, specify um, a server to connect to, and also to actually specify a name for them to take on, so that when multiple clients, because of course we can have multiple clients, so if let's just say 60 people connected, it's, oh yes, best idea ever. Once this is finished, you guys are all going to download, and we're all going to have like a freaking chat party, yeah. Um, but anyway, the point is, if we get like 60 people connecting to this or something, um, we can't all have them the same, right? You gotta have different names, okay? And now, while we probably won't do any validation, we can, we might do that if you guys really want us to do that, so that people only have unique names, so in other words, if I connect as the Cherno, or as Cherno, <coughs> excuse me, if I connect as the Cherno, or Cherno, or whatever, and someone else types the exact same name and tries to connect, the server might reject them and be like, nope, that's been taken, you can't do that. Um, we might do that, that might be an advanced feature if you guys uh, request that, but the point is, um, we want to, we want people to be able to specify a name, uh, a server address, and a port for the for the um, client to connect to. So that's what this login thing is all about. So let's make it look like a login window. So I think honestly, I'm just going to resize it a bit. So best thing about Window Builder, this is definitely not the best thing about Window Builder, but the point is you can actually use these um, things here to actually resize your window. So let's do that, and maybe 360. I don't know. I'm I'm just kind of I don't know, does that look good? Let's just take a look at that. So if we hit Control S or Command S on Mac, hit the debug button. Um, I think that's pretty, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. So that the window size is uh, 300 by 380, okay? That's the size of our window. Um, now, the next thing that you should do probably is, actually, let's specify a title first. So if we just click on the window here, we'll get a bunch of properties pop up here. You can actually specify a t uh, title here. And again, you can do this with code just by set title. Um, or frame dot set title if you're not uh, extending JFrame. I don't think okay we are extending JFrame. So yeah, literally set title. But um, we can do it through here as well. So here's the title thing. We'll call this Cherno Chat. No, we'll just call this login. Actually, just login. There it is. So again, that'll update it. And if we go back to source, um, you'll see that we actually have set title login. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. It does it for you. Um, and again, obviously it's not really necessary for stuff like this. But when we get into stuff like positioning buttons and um, making text fields and that stuff is just, that stuff is ludicrous if we do it um, by code. And it's it's not something, because obviously the frame isn't being updated every second, you can't really hot swap it, you can't really live debug it, so it gets to be a pain. But what we have to do here is actually specify, um, what I like to do, Well, you, what, what you should do is specify type of layout. So there are so many layouts here that you can choose from. Um, we're going to be using two, okay? Not for this login frame. We're going to be using one for this login window and one for the actual um, one for the actual client. Um, so uh, the one that we'll actually use for this login window will be the absolute layout, which means that we can actually um, we specify the exact location of each component. And the reason we're going to do that is because this is not going to be resizable. So let's click on the window, and here it says resizable. Let's just uncheck that, okay? So now we cannot resize this window. Um, and we don't want to, because this is just a login window. We don't, know, we don't need to resize it. We will be able to resize the actual client, because, of course, I expect people might want to make it smaller, make it bigger, like maximize, make it full screen, or whatever. Um, and that's just a nice feature to have. So yeah, we will have to use a different layout for that. But for this, since this is non-resizable, we might as well use an absolute layout. In fact, my recommendation is if you're not going to resize a window, use the absolute layout at all times. So just click on it right over here on the layouts and click on to login. So now we've got an absolute layout, okay? And you'll actually notice here that it said um, uh, set layout null, okay? So null is an absolute layout because we don't have any specific layouts. So I just hit Command Shift O or Control Shift O on Windows to uh, organize my imports uh, to get rid of the border border layout and stuff that we don't use. Um, but yeah, so pretty, now we're pretty much ready to actually start making buttons. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do right now is just make uh, probably fields. Okay, so I might make a um, let's scroll down to components here, and we'll see something called a J text field. Grab that and let's put that, and you'll see that it actually appears quite slow on my Mac for some reason. But, um, uh, let's see, 
maybe like, we don't want to make it too big. What you can actually do is if we place it right now, you can actually, let's give it a name first of all. Um, let's, give, let's just call it name. <laughs> okay. So, and then you might have to go under text here and delete the name. The reason I type name in is so that the variable name would be text name, so that I actually called it something. Um, but what you can actually do now is you can click on it, and then what you can do is you can actually align it pretty much. So we can align it vertically by hitting this button, and you can see it centers it, and we can center it uh, vertically if we want as well. But this centers it horizontally, this button here. So you don't have to, you know, make sure it's completely right. I might just make it a bit, whoops, yeah, just a bit bigger here. Center it again. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe that's a bit too big. Uh, make it a 165. That should be good. That's for your name. Okay, and let's also make a... Um, uh, J label over here just so people know that they should type their name here and we'll call it name okay and we'll center that as well there you go okay let's make that a bit smaller though um, you might have to experiment with the sizes of these things because Mac text I believe is a bit larger than Windows and blah 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 you might have to make sure that it's portable whatever but um, if we run this now <laughs> you can see that what we've got here is a name and we can type in like Cherno or Oh my god, I can't spell my name. <laughs> or Yarn, or whatever. Um, Bob. If there's anyone called Bob, shout out to you. Um, and you can see we can't resize it either. So yeah, that's what we get right now, okay? And as you can see, it's really easy using this um, this thing here, this uh, this window builder thing, to actually do this stuff. Like, look at this. It's done all of this code now for us, which we couldn't have done, like, without it. Well, we could have, obviously. But what I mean is it would, be, it would have been so much harder. So one thing that I don't like the window builder does automatically is actually, it, as you can see, it kind of launches it in the top left right and that's not like that's not too cool I like it to uh, for example for this I want it to be centered um, so let's do that okay let's actually modify set bounds we know that the width is 300 and the height is 380 so let's um get rid of that <laughs> and let's uh, manually set the size set size to 300 by 380 and then we'll just set the uh, location relative to null so just like we did with pretty much our game, our game programming stuff. And now if we launch it, what you'll see is it's in the center. Okay, so that's one thing that you can do. Um, that's just, again, an aesthetical thing. You don't have to do that. But what happens is if you do actually resize it again, it's going to um, reset basically all of this. It probably won't remove our set size and set location, but it will add the set bounds. Um, so don't, don't do that. Only do this little thing once it is, um, once it is, once you've finalized your size. All right. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed episode two. That has been episode two. Next time, we'll take a look at actually creating a button and the rest of our text fields. I'm going to have to keep these episodes short uh, for multiple reasons, primarily the fact that I have a bit of a lack of bandwidth and processing power, so it's a lot easier for me to keep them shorter. But um, hopefully, we can get them pretty frequently. So yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.